the hole to his left and off his glove, and that's got to be a base hit. And he wins the batting crowd. Yankee fans couldn't have asked for anything more. On the last at bat of the year, Mattingly 343, Winfield 340. The last day of the 1984 baseball season at Yankee Stadium, historically, teammates Don Mattingly and Dave Winfield battled for the American League batting title. Uh, Mattingly was about a point down, and he had a big day. I think he went four for five. Winfield went one for four, and Mattingly won the 1984 American League batting title, finishing with an average of 343 to Winfield's 341. During that game, the Yankees, who won it going away, brought in a pitcher named Mike Armstrong. He's a right-hander, kind of a big guy with a beard. And he's on the mound pitching late in the game, and a guy behind me, every time Mike Armstrong goes into his windup, goes, let's go, John Birch. Every pitch that Mike Armstrong threw for two innings, this guy behind me repeated the phrase, let's go, John Birch. And it was driving me crazy. His name's Mike Armstrong. What do you mean, let's go, John Birch? So I couldn't help it. I was getting frustrated by the second inning of this guy behind me. Let's go, John Birch. Let's go, John Birch. I asked my dad. I said, I don't understand what this guy's saying. I mean, I'm a little boy. Ten, the 10-year-old version of I don't understand what this guy's saying. Who's John Birch? My dad gets a little funny look on his face. And he says, um, it's called the John Birch Society. And there are a bunch of crackpots who think that women are good for producing babies and cooking meals and doing laundry and uh that's about it they shouldn't have jobs anyway i started cracking up because then it made sense this guy behind me was executing a 2023 era troll in 1984 and i will never forget the sound of that guy behind me shouting let's go john birch